Here's a live look at our first alert radar network showing a good bit of rainfall heading our way this evening into tonight. We are tracking some pretty heavy rain on the front side of this line now moving through the western CS array. This is taking a path towards the east northeast, so kind of heading towards Thompson Augusta. We could definitely see some of this heavier rain that is just moving east now of Sparta. Some very heavy rain with it. Rain rates over an inch per hour. Luckily, this line is moving relatively quickly, so we shouldn't see much of a flood risk. But whenever you see Boeing like this on radar, especially that uh, uh, combined with some heavy rain. We could see some gusty winds from this, so not ruling out that we do see a wind gust, maybe 30, 40 miles an hour on the front side of this line. We'll continue to just see this wet weather move through all the way through midnight tonight. Once we get into the overnight hours, and especially by early Saturday, most of the wet weather is over with. This is going to be a cold front, though, so waking up Saturday morning, it is definitely going to be uh, feeling a little bit cooler for us. Waking up in the upper 30s to mid 40s across the region to start off the day, and we should hang on to a good bit of cloud cover most of our Saturday afternoon, and high temperatures will stay below average, most likely only upper 50s to low 60s. As we head into Sunday morning, any plans early Sunday, you're going to need that winter coat again. We are going to wake up in the mid 30s to start off the day and high temperatures Sunday should actually stay into the 50s all day long. So a chilly outlook for the last official weekend of winter time. Here's a look at our rain totals that we're expecting from this line could get close to an inch in a few spots. We are seeing some heavy rain with it, so this is going to definitely clear out our skies and lower that pollen count as we do head into the weekend. Behind the rain, we are going to see these temperatures drop. We're going to wake up in the mid 30s early Sunday. By Monday morning, the official first day of spring, we are going to start off the day in the upper 20s. So if you had to take any precautions earlier this week, protecting any sensitive outdoor plants, you're likely going to need to do that again Sunday night and early Monday. Here's our high temperatures here in Augusta for the weekend. It's going to be a struggle to make it up to 60 degrees tomorrow and then all afternoon long on Sunday. Despite getting some sunshine back, our high temperatures will be well below average into the mid 50s. We do have the junior invitational at Sage Valley continuing tomorrow. Not expecting any wet weather, but it will be cloudy. It will be chilly and those uh, northwest wind will be going anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour. So wind could definitely be a factor out there on the course uh, for all the golfers in town. Looking at our high temperatures across the region tomorrow, I would imagine most spots just kind of stay close to 60 degrees. There definitely could be some cooler spots in the northern and western CS array that do stay in the 50s tomorrow afternoon. Looking ahead to next week, past that first day of spring, we finally start to warm up again. High temperatures by this time next week, next Thursday and Friday, should be back in the 80s. Well, check this out. A middle school student from Columbia County 